Support WrestleTalk! Visit WrestleTalk.com Ronda Rousey suspended! We've got a new Intercontinental Champion! And Bo Dallas is really good at cosplaying as his brother! I'm Ollie Davis, click that I above my head for what you thought of the show, where you can choose from in or core, average, poor and bore, as I review that 18th of June 2018 edition of Monday Night Raw in about four minutes. After a video package recapping Alexa Bliss's Money in the Bank win and cash in the previous night, Kurt Angle opened the show with extra happy floppy wrists because Raw got both beef cases, which will hopefully get undercover boss Stephanie McMahon off his back. Wait a second, Baron Corbin's also got new hair. Just how undercover is Stephanie being? Bliss pointed out that everything she did at Money in the Bank was legal, but that didn't stop Ronda Rouse's super mean face. Alexa then went on to do the standard WWE thing where the heel talks forever and the baby face just stands there and takes it. Oh my god, Ronda's attacking Alexa! Ronda's attacking Kurt! Ronda's attacking both Alexa and Kurt with the beefcase! Ronda's attacking referees! Ronda even beat up a table. This is how you book Rousey! Not with, gee Nia, do you really think I'm good enough to face you? Or smiling high fives down to the ring as an absolute ass kicker! This is the best non-wrestling performance she's had in the WWE so far, and the crowd went crazy for her. Kurt ended up suspending her for 30 days. Hopefully she turns up next week Stone Cold style and can continues to beat everyone up. And the excitement didn't stop there, as Dolph Ziggler answered Seth Rollins' open Intercontinental title challenge next, a matchup I forgot was possible on Raw. But Rollins wasn't 100% following his match the night before, and just like how Seth grabbed Elias' belt at Money in the Bank, Ziggler hooked the tights for the win here. Dolph is the new Intercontinental Champion, which him and Drew McIntyre teased would be the first of many. Watch out Brock Lesnar- who am I kidding? He, he doesn't watch Raw. Seth is invoking his rematch clause for next week. Even with Bobby Roode selling his ribs from Money in the Bank, he still beat Kurt Hawkins in a minute. You thought boss time was bad? Sick of the big dog? Well, brace yourselves for getting very annoyed with Monster in the Bank in several weeks' time. After Braun's in-ring celebration and call out of Brock Lesnar, there's no point he doesn't watch Raw. The only other guy selling his injuries from the previous night, Kevin Owens, turned up to try and befriend Strowman. He wanted to shake these heads. This set up a storyline weaved throughout the night, which made the authority aligned Owens and Constable Corbin versus the Strowman and Finn Balor bromance for the main event. The other night-long narrative was Bailey and Sasha Banks making up to take on the Riot Squad, lose to the Riot Squad, and then brawl backstage afterwards. Banks was definitely the more heelish here, but it's hard to care about either woman at this point. The deleter of worlds quickly beat Heath Slater and Rhino, but the real brilliance of this segment was the B-team's Bray Wyatt and Woken Hardy parody promo on screen. Jinder Mahal spoke about the winds of change again before his match with Chad Gable, and that wind seems to have blown Jinder right back to his old 2016 gimmick of preaching peace and spirituality. He won quickly with a coloss. After a backstage segment that reached peak Raw Authority figure, two people on their phones, Kurt relayed Stephanie's big announcement in the ring about deciding Brock Lesnar's next to He doesn't want, which itself reached peak Universal Championship Challenge segment because Roman Reigns then interrupted, saying it should be him. Bobby Lashley made his case too, and Kurt revealed the winner of a five-way at Extreme Rules will get the title shot, a concept that the Revival conveniently took umbrage with. Holla holla, it's an actually really fun tag team match, players. Lashley tagged himself in at the end to hit Roman's spear for the win. OJ Rawley then beat No Way Jose in the definition of a third hour Raw match. Elias sung a song about wanting to be in the Extreme Rules five-way, which thankfully nobody interrupted because it was a genuinely really good song, as was the really fun main event, where the best stuff surprisingly came between Strowman and the still waistcoat wearing Corbin, who are actually pretty similar heights. With Braun putting KO through the barricade outside, Baron hit the end of days on Bala for the win. Overall, a bad night for baby faces, but the episode really felt like a reset of the brand. Now we're on the road to SummerSlam. Storylines that wove throughout the night, the newsworthy angles of Seth losing his title and Ronda getting suspended, and some really fun matches mean this week's Raw is core. A WWE referee shoots on the Money in the Bank crowd. Find out what he said by clicking the WrestleTalk.com link on screen now. And give us a subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest backstage wrestling news. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.